Hello, this is Matthew Armstrong. And I'm Victoria Whitehead. Welcome to day 43 of our 100 Day Juice Feast. So another day of juice feasting on the road. Well, could you say we're on the road? We're in a hotel room, but we're, we're on the road. Um, and so obviously we've brought our juicer with us and um, just gone out, bought our vegetables, our food, whatever we need. And we're just juicing in the room. Everything we need, no problem at all. And today we're going to be on the road all again today until uh, you know, very late tonight. Uh, we're going off. We're, first of all, we're interviewing uh, Dr. Robert Young, the renowned microbiologist, and then we're heading back across the, the country. So we're, we've got quite a quite a long day ahead of us. Uh, and uh, so what we've juiced today is we've juiced first of all for the morning, which is the big watermelon. You get about three three and a half liters out of the watermelon. So that's what we're drinking this morning with some lemon in that and some lime in that. And then I also juiced got some bottles here of. Uh, What's in that? There's celery in that, there's let romaine lettuce, there's pineapple, there's lemon, there's green apples, and, uh, and ginger in that as well, and cucumber as well in that. And then over here I've got uh, apples, green apples, tomatoes, or tomatoes, and also some, a little bit of ginger, and some, no it's not some lemon in that, some lettuce, romaine lettuce, and some celery in that. And then as well, we have some more watermelon and lime juice, lemon juice as well. So we're all sorted for the road. Um, so that's what you can do. You know, if you're on the road, there's no excuses. You can just prepare, get up in the morning, juice what you need, put it in some bo glass bottles or jars, bring it with you, and then you know you're, you're sorted. You don't have to have excuses to eat something or whatever. Um, and even, even if you're traveling on a plane, you're, you're flying, going on a long haul flight, maybe you're going to be going into airports and out of airports for 24 hours, then just uh, you get some green powders and uh, some, some alkalizing green powders, things like that, that you can just, whenever you buy a bottle of water or, or fill up your water bottle, and it's good to have a water bottle so you can fill it up on the plane, things like that, uh, and uh, then just put in the powders, mix it up, so then for 24 hours you're just taking water and then um, all your nutrition in the form of powders, and that's no problem as well. So today I thought what I'd share with you is the power of the language that we use, and um, something that I notice a lot, and even with myself, I've had to work on it over the years. I remember when I, when I first met Matthew, and I used to say the word depressed all the time, and it was just when I was tired, or was, was you know, I just said, oh, I'm feeling depressed, and Matthew said to me, so Victoria, you want to take that word completely out of your vocabulary, and at the time, I thought, okay, he's just talking strange, but I did. And now, it, seemed, it seems even strange to me that when, when somebody says they're depressed, I think, well, how do they get into a depressed state? Because I never feel that. Sometimes I feel a bit frustrated, or sometimes I, I can get annoyed, but I never get depressed. Um, and it's all to do with just the language that we use and, and, and the, what we tell ourselves. And, and another thing, um, I hear people sometimes say, that makes me feel sick, or it makes me so sick that he did that. But we've got to be so aware that what they're saying is somebody's done something and it's upset them. But saying it makes me sick, just see, even in those words, they're actually saying that it's causing a physical reaction in their body. And what they don't realise is that when you say something like that, it actually does create a physical reaction in your body because your conscious mind, your unconscious mind, will take that on board, even if you don't mean it in that sense. Your unconscious mind takes everything on board that you say, so you have to be so careful of the vocabulary that you use. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and uh, you know, in case you maybe are depressed, or you know someone who's depressed, maybe clinically depressed or whatever, um, the, the words are very, very powerful, and it's our, it starts for our thoughts, and what we say, the words we use, especially in our, in our, in our environment, what we say out loud as well, um, you know, that creates our thoughts and that starts a chain reaction. So it really does start with the thoughts and there's a whole lot of other aspects as well, including the nutrition. Um, and when you get good nutrition in your body, then as well, it, it's, it's hard to feel depressed as well. So, you know, it's with the thoughts, it's, it's with our lifestyles, with nutrition, it's with so many other factors, but it's definitely not in a pill. You're not gonna find the answer in a pill. Um, and that's the bottom line, right? Yeah. Okay, so we've got a lot to do today. So uh, thanks for joining us and uh, I look forward to chatting to you again tomorrow and letting you know about what's happened with today. Okay, my name is Matthew Armstrong. And I'm Victoria Whitehead. Take care.